Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be trying out our new modification on a router sled and also trying out a new bit. So let's get to it. So guys, we are this close to 50,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you like what you see, do us a favor, click that little subscribe button and the bell icon. We keep pumping out three videos a week and we've got almost 2,000 on the whole channel. So help us out here, guys. So on our last video, we added adjustable rails to be able to surface down thicker boards. But we forgot to do one thing. So what we're gonna do is add some lines on here, make it nice and straight and make it a lot easier for a one-man setup. So I made marks at half inch intervals from the top down. I did three sets all across the board. Then all I had to do was take a good straight edge and connect them. So now that we have our lines on each one of the rails at half inch intervals, it gives you a really good reference on where to set them to make sure they're both at the right setting. So we have this piece of Firebox Elder and it's two and three quarters thick. So we wanna make sure and set our rails at enough space to where we can get the router bit in there and it'll give us plenty of clearance. If you're just doing this yourself, it's a good idea to use a clamp on one side when you get your setting. Then you can raise the other side and tighten it down and go through and tighten all of them. Make sure that when you're tightening these, you use a socket because you really want to get them tight. The last thing you want is for these rails to slip while you're actually surfacing a board. Okay, so we've got our piece in here that we want to flatten and we've got our rail set at the right height so we've got plenty of throw with our router. Uh, now what we do is we, we got to get this thing stable, see how it's kind of rocking. So we use these little wedges. These actually I made out of paint sticks but basically all you want is this thing to be solid. So I'm just going to put these wedges in here where I, and again I made these out of paint sticks and my sander, my big belt sander. So you just want that thing to be nice and stable and solid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lock it in place so it doesn't move around on us but you can see and then once we how it's solid once we make this flat then when you we do the second side it'll be uh, nice and flat down on the sled to hold our board in place we're just using blue painters tape on a few MDF blocks then we put another piece of blue painters tape down on our sled using the thin CA glue from Starbond and the accelerator it gives a really solid hold that's easy to peel up when you're done. All right, you guys, so we made a great upgrade to our router sled. It's a lot more versatile now. We can do a much thicker materials. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade our router bit. The router bit that I've been using for the last few years, it's okay, it's a two fluted butterfly bit, two inches wide. It's okay, but I really had nothing to compare it to. But my buddy Chris over at Amana Tools, I bought a really good router bit for just this operation. It's four fluted and this thing is a beast. I absolutely love this. It's so much better than that two fluted one. So we're gonna get into it. We've got our board all like locked down. We got it wedged up so it's solid. We got it braced in place so it's not gonna move anywhere. And this thing, you're gonna see this thing work and it is really cool. So stick with us.
So the combination of our upgrade on our router sled and the brand new bit, man, well, you want to talk about a one-two punch. This thing is awesome. I can't wait to get more slabs in here so we can use this thing some more. The adjustment that we made, these new rails that we made on the sled will allow us to do at least three and a half inches, maybe close to four inch slab if we have it. Uh, and this router bit is just absolutely amazing. Thank you, Chris, for getting this uh, bit to me. So if you guys are interested in this bit, uh, it's about $68.95. If you guys want to get it from me, because I'm a dealer, I can probably save you some money on that. I'll put a link to my email directly below. So if you, you can order it through me and I can have it drop shipped right to you. So this thing, even though it's only an inch and a half cut at a time, it will cut your time in half over the other one just because it will take more wood at a time and it, it's just a beast. It's just a great router bit. So the other thing is they probably, I think they make a quarter inch shank version of this. I'm using the half inch shank. In my opinion, I would not even attempt to do this with a quarter inch shank router bit. And don't try and do this kind of operation with your uh, 611. You definitely want a big router. You want something that's got some horsepower and some stability and, a and be able to take a half inch shank router bit. So there you go, guys. We had fun making these two videos. Hope they're helpful. Let us know if you have any questions. We so appreciate you watching all of your support. And again, we'd love for you to click that little bell icon and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.